Make sure you watch the entire documentary to understand how the evidence works and how everything plays out. It's quite bizarre. With the amount of activity that has taken place just within the moments that you are about to witness, I can't imagine what's going to happen when I'm completely isolated inside of the home. professional paranormal investigator and demonologist. The family has been plagued by demonic activity in their home. Amelia drives from Texas to Chicago on a regular basis to help the family. Everything you are about to witness is real life events that have taken place. Coming up in this documentary, you will witness the profound evidence Amelia collected during this case. You will witness the victims talking about their diabolical experiences during the interview process. And then you will see undeniable evidence of the paranormal. She saw a ghost of a little boy without any skin. She keeps getting the word legion on everything that she's using. As a skeptic or believer, have you ever given much thought to demons, ghosts, and angels? What would you do if you came face to face with one? It all started in Chicago. I was on an investigation with a world-renowned, famous psychic and paranormal investigator. I happened to be on a trip and I just published another book about hauntings, my own diabolical experiences many years ago. At the event, I was speaking to some clients and potential students. When the event had ended and we were all doing a big group photo, a man named Bob stumbled over a rock with the camera in his hand and I ran over and asked if he was all right. From this point on we began to talk about experiences. They, we shared our experiences and they told me everything that was happening to them and as we walked through the cemetery of Bachelors Grove and through the woods of Bachelors Grove Cemetery we exchanged information. From that point on, I've been working on their case. It has now been over a year. They say they're going to kill my family and like other things like that. They do? When do you hear that? My name's Tori. I met Amelia about a year ago, and she has been amazing with helping me. I actually met her at an event that we both happened to be at, and I told her some of the experiences that I had in my own home, and uh, sent her some of the footage, told her about what had happened about when I moved first moved into this house about. 10 years ago with my oldest daughter, which will be 10 this year. 
some of the experiences we had when she was an infant and through some of the time. Also told her some of the things that my youngest child is also going through and she still is to this day. Um, that really, really bothered me. And I also told her about how some of my animals in my home have reacted to unseen things and I sent her the footage of that as well. And we've also worked together on some things when it comes to this house. Some of the things we've gotten were heartwarming because it was family I have and have not met that have come through letting me know they are here. Other things are not so heartwarming when it comes to the other side and finding out what might be going on when it comes to my youngest child. And she has been and done a great deal of help when it comes to all of it. And she's always been there when I needed her when it comes to needing the help. I am still working with her to this day because we still don't have all the answers here. And the activity has not 100% stopped, but we are working to find the resolution. So for those of you that are watching and listening to this, thank you. And we appreciate it. I wanted to put my information out there. Here are some of the ghost lights that I captured during the sessions at the exact same time that recorders were picking up voice. A lot of people think that this is ectoplasm. I believe that these lights and orbs are the spirit's energy itself rather than ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is something that manifests from the orifices of the body during a seance. It is also said that ectoplasm enters into the orifices of the psychic, the host in the seance, and that is how they receive the information that they do about the other side. There's a lot more evidence that's being archived that you have not seen yet. Tori and Bob's home has been diagnosed with a haunting, and the type of haunting is a demonic haunting. The investigation is still ongoing, and they are still having experiences. I plan to stay in the home by myself. There's still a lot more to come, and this is only the beginning. Here's some of the footage that Tori sent me about her dogs reacting to something that she cannot see in the room. They're literally growling and barking at something that is not seen by the human eye. And later we prove this and we capture an entity walking across this area. The town of Evergreen is inspired by a planet that never made it to the North Pole. It's a Christmas gift for the oh. Christmas in Evergreen. Letters to Santa. Sunday at 8, 7 central. And a countdown to Christmas only on Hallmark. What is around you? Same thing I just felt. High school. There. while Tori and the girls were on the couch and Bob is away out of state, I instructed Tori to place a camera on them and in other rooms. This is what happened. About 16 minutes had gone by and the children had fallen asleep and then the activity began again and was exactly in the same place that Dakota, the dog, is always growling and barking at. 
What you are witnessing is the reflection of a diabolical shadow. Okay, so take notice that on the surveillance camera there's nothing but orbs flying around. You will notice that one of the dogs reacts to the activity in the room as the surveillance camera only captures orbs but the other camera captures the reflection of something walking by where these orbs are manifesting. I've been able to prove that there is indeed demonic activity going on in the home. Later, Tori sends me a recording to analyze of a session she did inside of her home when she was alone, asking what exactly is inside of her home, and this is what they said. And I'll play it real quick without the headphones. <laughs> diabolical entity that manifested in the window the reflection that um, that we saw which was just incredible so now I have the footage from the surveillance cameras synced up to this exact same moment so let's take a look and I will show you um, exactly what's going on here at the same time and what we can see. Okay, so pay attention to the dog in the dining room and take notice of the orbs that fly by and how the dog reacts, becomes kind of nervous and her ears go backwards. Right after this happens is when the shadow walks across the room and one of the cameras picks it up. Okay, so take notice at how the dog in the dining room reacts to the orbs. She's chewing on her bone, and then all of a sudden she stops, her ears go back, she can feel or sense or hear something. The orb flies by away from the dog, and then she goes back to chewing on her bone. As for the shadow person that walks by, it is a reflection in this room. The house sits on a hill. So the only way that this reflection could be somebody walking by outside, would they would have to literally be standing in front of the window, which in turn, the shadow person wouldn't be that small. You would see someone much closer in front of the window. And the dogs always react. When I've been at the house, they always react to any stranger or anyone that's outside of the home. And Dakota's not reacting to anything outside of the window. I keep seeing this little white flash. And I don't know if, if it's perhaps from one of the two orbs that you witnessed or if it's something else. So let's, you know, let's replay this and take a good look at it. Okay, so tell me on here as well so I can confirm oops, so I can confirm that I picked everything up correctly about the entity, where it was, what it is, same with the ball of light. Um, tell me what the manifested entity that we ca captured on film. Tell me exactly what it is.
on my way to the house to meet the family and begin investigation and other procedures. Tori used an app to communicate, just to see. This is some of the stuff that came through, which later also came through on all of my devices, including EVPs prior and after the investigation you are about to see. facing the upstairs when I heard the chains. Yes. Tell me about the chains. So you're, all right, I want you to tell me about your experience with the chains. Specific everything, where you were and what you heard, felt, what happened. <laughs> it's very so, important. How long ago was it? That was in 2010, 2011, because I was at the Halloween party and you came to let him out for the bat and he's coming to vaccinate. <laughs> Shh! Chloe! So I walked in and basically. You walked in walk, the house. Yeah, I was walking in. I walked in. The house <laughs> and it was really odd because Wally would usually stay up in this gym region. Right here, where we're sitting? Yeah. Okay. Just either here or up by the couch or whatever. Okay. Um, but 
he ended up being upstairs, which I found really odd. So on the landing by the bathroom? Okay. Yes. What was he doing? Was he sitting, standing? He was standing. Ground? Where, after I called him, he was standing. Okay. Where um, was he looking into? Which, the two rooms, the bathroom? He I probably think. came out of what is Kara's room, what was our room. Okay. At the time, because he was probably laying in there. Because a lot of times, he, if he wasn't laying down here, he was laying in our room on the floor. Yeah, in y'all's room. Yes. Yeah. Downstairs. No, it, no, we were upstairs. Okay, at that time. Yes. Do you remember you saying something yeah. about that? Go out, and he comes to the landing, and which was really odd. He had his tail tucked. Okay. So he was scared off the bat. At this point. I've known him for two, two and a half, three years, somewhere. Two and a half, three yeah. years. There was a lot of yeah. 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 Um, and then he he was looking past me. He wasn't he looking was at me, he was looking at the past bottom me. of the stairs. Yes. Uh, no, I was probably standing about. Um, where the fireplace starts. Where the TV is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you were a little bit away, a couple feet away, and he's looking past you. Yeah, he's looking past me. Of course, to this area mm -hmm. where we captured the entity. Okay. Yeah. Um. And all of a sudden, hairs on the back of my neck went up. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, just you kind of dismiss it. Mm -hmm. And next thing I hear is. Almost like the, the heavy highway steel chains being drugged behind me. Okay. How loud would you say? And was it internally or you could hear it with your ears? Oh no, it was audible. Okay. It was clearly audible with at least my head, you know, like my ears. I, I thought it was coming from my ears. At least that's what that's Um. Yes, your eardrums on the outside were picking up sound yeah. from the air. Okay. Yeah. Um, inside of the house, you knew it was inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it, it sounded like it was across the wood floor. Okay. Um, you know, at, at that point, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. It's happened. Um... And proceeded to let him out. And when he went back in the house, he went back up to our room, but it was still the hairs in the back of my neck were standing up. Um, Didn't he growl too? He might have growled. At this point, I don't remember. Okay. There's a lot of things. That and how did you feel? Were you feeling uneasy, uncomfortable? Did you feel like you were not alone? Definitely after hearing the chains, it's definitely the thought that you're not alone. Um, Manners, child. I mean, uneasy to, to a lesser extent, but I've always been that you gotta get in, get what you need to be done, and get out. So you I, knew it was unordinary? Yeah. That it wasn't a usual occurring thing for you? No. These are the photos that Tori and Bob sent me while I was on a case in Washington. So I ended my trip early and rushed over to Chicago as quick as I could because this is when things took a turn for the worst. Okay, and what else happened after that? Any nightmares? Did you have any kind of touching? What was it, two months? Three months maybe? Until I had the scratches? Oh, after me making it. So you started hearing scratches. No. no, that's what. We were going out. I had forgotten a bib for Kara. So I told him, I go, you got to turn around. I got to get a bib this way. If she needs a bottle, we can grab it. So he comes, he comes back around, parks. I come in. And all of a sudden, I get that real heavy, uneasy feeling in the house. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, I'll just... Do what I gotta do, grab what I gotta grab, and now I go. Go into the basement. 
and it almost felt that tensity as if something was fighting, like two people. Like you get that feeling when you walk into somebody. You like, felt like you were in chaos or aggression. Ba basically, like two things people okay. were fighting because you walk in that uneasy feeling of up. Oh, yep. And then okay. I sat there and I was like, and this is during the time that things were messing with Kara. I literally sat there. I go, if you're gonna, if you're gonna fuck with anything or anyone, fuck with me, not my daughter. Yeah, you said that. I remember and that. I, after that, I was out. And then that was that that night mm -hmm. that we came home and went to bed. That? And the next morning, and I told him what I what had happened here. Yep. And he woke up and he had the scratches on his back. Well, I didn't feel anything. I didn't wake yeah. up in the middle of the night or nothing. I literally it. rolled out and Tori looks at me and goes, would you do your back? Yeah. Okay. And, and tell me what you saw. How many scratches? How long? Three. Turn around. Two. Show me what you... Okay. And right about this area. So it was like here. She's all that long. You got into the shower. Now, we went through the whole psychic thing, right? Yeah. And I kept seeing something in the shower, just like this room, but we never captured anything in the shower. We never put cameras on. But then all of a sudden, three you know, like months later, later we have stuff going on in the shower. Like that? Those are the bruises that I got. Right. They're not very big or dark and closer. They're still so there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we've got we can see bruises, yeah. So and so there. you got into the shower. He checks you before you get in. You get out of the shower, he checks you again. Bob checks you again. <laughs> He's yeah, like, neither one of those mothers. <laughs> He's like, it could have been there before we jumped in the shower, okay. but it's just kind of you get into your normal daily routines. Like you don't you know But I don't remember kind of seeing him. Right. Throwing your clothes off, throwing them in the you know, in the wash and jump in the shower. Right. But like I said about I looked at him, I go, I didn't see him before we got in the shower. Mm -hmm. I go and all of a sudden I have him. And he goes, Why well, are you sure you didn't bump in anything? I go, I didn't bump in anything. One on this side and then there was one on this side. So yeah. it was both arms. I'd almost say something grand. I was gonna it more say looked like fingerprints. Yeah. That's even what he, I noticed. Even he said it. He goes, It looks like something Grabbed you with you. both hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've seen, I've had cases where it's like that, and then they're getting choked at night later down the road. Mommy, I'm scared. I heard something. Oh. I heard something. Did you hear? You, you heard something? Where? Yeah. By the couch? What did you hear? Kill. You heard kill? Yeah. Did, did it sound like a whisper? Was it, how did it sound? Do it for me. It was like a male voice. Uh-huh. Was it, yeah. or was it, uh, was it? It was like a whisper. Like a whisper, kind of soft but deep voice. Okay. And she's yeah. been talking about, and he'll tell you, she's been talking about hearing things. Mm -hmm. What have you been hearing, baby? Like people saying something, and then like they say they're gonna kill my family, and like other things like that. They do. When do you hear that? Like Where are when, you? Um, in my room or if I'm sleeping down here and then I wake up. When you hear it? Yeah. Do they ever touch you? No. They don't poke you? No. No. And is it more than one voice? It's more than one voice. Yeah. But Do you know if they sound like kids or grown-ups? They sound like kids and grown-ups. So it's kind of like when kids are at the playground and parents are with them, mm -hmm. but they like died and like they were like here. So they died and came here? Yeah. Okay. When somebody was here. Have you, okay, and have you had any other experiences with hearing them talk? Have you seen any faces or shadows? 
Sometimes, but not all the times. Sometimes? When is sometimes? Like at night? Like at night, day? when my mom and dad aren't awake. Like at 6 a.m. or like 5. When you wake up for school? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything at night when you're when you've woken up? Mm. When it's still bedtime? Yeah. You have. Have you ever seen anything on the stairs or standing in your doorway? No, but I've seen like I've heard somebody talking upstairs. It sounded like my dad. I can't do that. I know. What what was it? Do you remember what it said? Yeah. Um it said my name. Yeah. It was like a, a deep voice. Mm -hmm. Can you deepen your voice and say your name? No. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to. Was it scary? Yeah. It was. Did it go growl? Did it go... Yeah. Or was it just... Uh, it growled. It had the growl. It was aggressive. It would, yeah, that's aggressive. That's it. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> I've noticed with the with the dream oh. connections, everything. Well, that's the thing is, spirits do touch us in our dream state, and they will show us or talk to us, show us well, things, talk to us. It's really important to pay attention to your dreams. That's also the monkey that uh, there's a there's a little boy without a face. Right? Oh yes, so she's she's, she's the one. Yeah. that one. So she, tell me that story again, because I remember you saying that he had no skin. She keeps saying, when she was asleep, they were sharing the room, what's now Carl's room, which was our room. And well, she's actually she would wake up. You caught the light. Yeah. The what? When there's the light. that light in that window. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, similar. I cannot explain that. Not explain um, that. Yeah. Basically, she woke up, came downstairs, woke me. She fell asleep on the couch. The next morning, she and it was multiple times. It wasn't just once. It was multiple times. She sat there and she said she got woken up to how she explained it: a boy and a girl. Okay. And they were arguing, like having disagreements. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine, whatever. I go, and then as she kept going, she goes, mommy, that little boy woke me up. He kept saying that he wanted to play. I was like, well, what do you look like? You know, what kind of clothes, you know, face. She goes, no clothes and no skin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you mean no skin? Like burns? And she goes, no, like the muscle is, I could see the muscle, mommy, no skin. Yeah. And she was like, and he was bald. Okay. I was like, okay. She see what color his eyes were, if he had eyes. Or she never sat there and told us that one. Was but she then she afraid? also sat. Yeah. Oh, she's terrified. Yeah. She also sat there, and my like I told you, my stepdad's a very giant skeptic. Mm -hmm. Like when we went and said we are going to do anything that involves like, oh, there's no such thing. She had told me that this thing followed her from here to Juliet to my mom's house. The boy, yeah, the skinless boy, yeah, okay. And that's like I've told him, even this week, I've been waking up at 3 3 30. Okay, out yeah. of blue. that's I've started doing that again. That's very common when there's something diabolical around. I went through it myself, I've had hundreds of people who have had the same experience. It's a real, real, real symptom. Um, she, I believe has very strong abilities. I think she is for sure a psychic medium. And then there was the dream where her and I were running from something after she was born like four years ago. It was almost like a crawl space type deal where something was chasing me and her. And it was like, and I physically saw it. It looked demonic. Yeah, there's I have so many clients have had that experience and it's never been wrong. There's a, we've always been able to prove it. Yeah, it was. It, you could physically see it was demonic. It was not human. Yeah. And I woke up. She was what three or four ish. I woke up and I was like, "What is going on? What is this?" 
within five minutes, she is waking up screaming and crying for me. And she sat there, I walk up the stairs, or y'all, I'm running up there, she's running down the stairs, she climbs in bed, and her and I are talking, but what happened? I had a nightmare. What kind of nightmare? This is something. In this house? Huh? Was it in this house? It was in this house. Okay. And she goes, something was chasing me. She goes, something was chasing you and I. And I was like, oh, okay. I go, I told him, I go, we had the same dream. It's like she pulled me in for protection. It's happened with my daughter and I. It's a very real thing. Very real. When you're sensitive to, you can see things. Mm -hmm. Something, either an angel or a guardian or a guide or an ancestor or a relative will show you things that are in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Through these kinds of means. So it's really, it's the fact that you both had it, it's very important to take note of them. Entities and what whoever's holding on to my feet from down there. Is this where the, the basement is? Yes. Call space goes from that wall to that wall. From that to the wall, stairway. To that wall. Okay, because I'm feeling someone pulling on my ankles. Do you understand? I felt like somebody was going to grab my ankle and then pull me. Do you want me to show you where the, cro the attic is too? I know that's upstairs. The crawl space is the doorway in like a closet. Because mm -hmm. that's what I keep seeing. It's yeah. in the closet. Yeah. Alright, so let's take a five minute breather. Um, have you guys seen any females in this house? Any female spirits? Have the kids seen? No. Seen? Heard? Heard. Yes. What have you heard? Because I'm there's a female here right now freaking out. There, there was she's probably mad at me <laughs> when we moved in. It was the story I first told you when we were unpacking what was our room when we first moved in upstairs. Upstairs, okay. I'm, Carl was at my mom's. We're unpacking our stuff, doing our own thing, and all of a sudden I hear, "Hey, I, you know, it's a female's voice." Okay. Us being us, I was maybe I'm thinking too hard. Trying to get all this done, maybe I'm thinking to myself. You're trying to explain it yeah. to, to to me. And well, it's a new house. I mean, this yeah. is what eleven years ago now. Yeah. Ten years ago. So I sat there and okay, you know, brush it off. And I could have sworn it was her. I I go okay. what I go. It's a he goes. What'd you say? I go. Well, what did you hear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes. You said hey. I go. No, I didn't. And did you hear that too? Yeah, you did. I heard so you both heard. Mm -hmm. And then, so he, we both were like, okay, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, we've probably heard it two or three times. Yeah, the there's been times been here, that like collectively together. Yeah, in, in <laughs> 10, 11 years, there were times that he'd be giving the girls a bath or Cara a bath. He'd be like, "What'd you say?" I'd be like. I'm doing dishes. Yeah, yeah I didn't one of say the most anything. Why? Notorious. We were putting his way Because you just said my name. Yeah. No. She was in the bathroom. I was in the bedroom. And we heard the same thing yet again. Okay. Yeah. And this is all before the whole. And it's, all, it's always a female voice. And it's all before okay. the baby monitor happened with is it? that real heavy, heavy entity when we first moved in here. With the baby monitor. Yeah, that was all before that because the baby Tell monitor. Tell me about the baby monitor. It was sitting here. Okay. So Basically, where the hand sanitizer is. Baby eyes. monitor right there. Yes. Carl was asleep. <laughs> I had stepped up for a cigarette. And. You were smoking at the time. I just said that. <laughs> I was like, seriously, what's going on? He's like, stop. I'm like, all right. He's like, listen. And. It sound all you heard on the baby monitor was, and I was like, what? Like a voice? Like no, like, like something was twist. No, like something was twisting. Okay, the so yeah, it's, it's a real. So we put have everything muted. We both quietly go up the stairs because she was sleeping in her crib, and he comes back down. I go, maybe it was a creaky board on the floor yeah so I sit there and I find a creaky board and I start rocking it and he's sitting down here and he's like no I go you sure he's like no okay I come back down and I was like what could that have been what could that have physically been within two minutes if that 
Did we hear it again or did she just wake up screaming? We heard it again. Okay. And we heard it again and then right after that she woke up and complete out of sleep screaming. Okay. Out of a dead sleep. (laughs) And that's when we both took off up the stairs. Came down. He laid with her on the couch that would have been sitting here. Hours later is when I heard a voice sit there and go, it's okay. And I jumped. Like, did that whole... startled you? Yeah. I just... (gasps) Yeah. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there calling for him. I go, ba, ba, ba. And he finally woke up. I go, I just heard somebody say, it's okay now. Or it's okay. The one thing I did, and you probably forgot about, also was when Roy and Kim were here, we used to hear what sounded like a TV inside of them. Or a radio. Also, what do you mean? Did you hear static? Did you hear like channel music. switching music? Or talking. It almost sounded like your old school like channel TV. Like a box TV? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because we were having gay night. Um, he's had his own experiences. So we were sitting here at a table that used to be here just playing a game. And he goes, what is that? And we turned everything off and it sounded like an old school TV. Really? Do you guys ever hear anything up there? Uh, I actually hear nothing, so you have to ask her, because she has some weird dreams she's been talking about lately. What kind of dreams have you had, honey? (laughs) About, like, something trying to attack me. Really? Yeah. In where? In my room. Where at? Where at in your room? On my bed. Show me. Okay, so I keep on, like, sitting. Don't mind her floor. It's all messed up. No, no, it's fine. Right. Don't worry about that. And then I get vibes. You get vibes? Yeah. So you feel energy. Yeah. You feel different feelings. Yeah. Do you get goosebumps, too? Does your hair ever feel like it's kind of... Does it feel like this? Yeah. It does? Okay. Your room's really pretty. I like your room. What about your closet? Do you ever feel like anything's in there or hear anything? No, only one thing. And then I put it a poster up there. Really? Someone kept on knocking on my sister's wall. So you hear knocking on this wall? That wall behind your mom? No, my sister's wall by my behind, behind my closet. closet. So you yeah. hear it kind of inside of here on the yeah. wall. So can I open it? Yeah. I'm going to let mom open it. So you I hear, show me how loud it is. You do it for it's me, honey. It's like, Whoa. and then my poster keeps on falling when I put it up. It does? Does it happen all night or just like two sets of four? It's like all night. All night? Yeah. And it's not your sister? No. And when I go downstairs to sleep, it stops. When you go downstairs. Yeah, your mama told me that you go sleep on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm, like, scared if somebody, like, does the knocking. All night? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you pray when you hear stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you say, protect me with the light? Yeah. I have a thing that has the... A thing? A cross? Yeah. You have a cross? Yeah. A cru- I was going to say, it sounds like a crucifix. Yeah, yeah. I brought some yeah. presents for you. Yeah. And then That's I get beautiful. the holy water from downstairs, and then I do it here, here. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tell you something, and you can try it, okay? And sometimes when people pass away after their funeral, they run out of time to enter into the light tunnel. So, so they some find pe- you. So some people go to their parents or their children's funeral, and then they come here, maybe, or to a different house, and then the spirits sometimes, come here. Sometimes they talk to you because they see you as special. If they see light that we can't all see all the time. One day you might see it. I've seen it uh-huh. around people. One day you will, and you'll know what I'm talking about. When you see a ghost or a spirit or anything, say, in the name of Jesus Christ, how can I help you? 
and say, Jesus, please take these souls to heaven. Amen. And then they should leave you alone. If they don't leave you alone, that's when you tell your mom. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, then I we'll have more you, answers. And I will remind you, to show you guys all you have to keep her Yes. Because mama has it too. That's why you have to tell your mom if they don't leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make a deal, pinky promise. <laughs> you <almost got> it. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get ready so we can see if I can see any more spirits in the house. All right. This is for you and the girls. Oh, I, I actually have one. The Pope blessed that for me. This is mine. That's really yeah. neat. Yeah, it's uh. We're going to start with the ovalis. I know you guys want to talk. Ovalis 5B. The ovalis 5B converts environmental readings into words. It is the latest in our equipment line. Based on the original ovalis and all preceding the ovalis 5 is an ITC device. The goal of the device is to facilitate communications with the other side, the otherworldly. Just like doing EVP or ITC feedback, nothing is instant or guaranteed to produce results. Like all Ovilus and Talker devices, the device never uses random generators. The only proof that I have that this device is accurate in receiving messages from the other side is when I've ran my Panasonic DR60s and other voice recorders at the exact same time that the Ovilus was running and stood on the other side of the room. That way the Ovilus communication voice would not interfere with the EVP session. When the entity spoke a sentence such as in the last episode, we are not evil. The Ovilus said the exact word evil at the exact same time that the entity's voice was recorded. It's very interesting to say the least. I and we're going to listen. We're here to listen and we care. And we're going to see what you have to say on here first. Go ahead. Scream. Scream. Often. often. Who's screaming often? Sometimes with this device, they'll say a sentence, and when it's recording on here, it picks up one word on there. It's the craziest I saw that, thing. Yeah. The one video when you were in the schoolhouse. Yeah, there's so many. Are you afraid of the light? I have used every tape recorder and voice recorder that I've ever come across and this specific recorder, the two that I'm using now, it's actually not made anymore and they're upwards of $3,000 if you're able to find them. This one's quite special to me. Not every one of these work the same in this brand, however, the special thing about them is that they do not begin recording until they detect voice, which is really interesting when you are sitting in a silent room communicating with the other side and all these other voices come in. Audio and speech specialists um, that have worked like with the government and things like that have actually analyzed the speech coming through my recorders and the feedback I got was very interesting and they seemed very taken back by it and you know flat out said yes there is speech there is human speech on there but it's not human and the way that they test things it's really a lot to explain there were actually complaints about this recorder back in the 90s because people kept saying that they were hearing 
all these different voices on this recorder and that it, it just didn't work. It was picking up too many voices and they stopped making this recorder. So let's continue now that you know how this recorder works. Okay, so who exactly is here with me? And what do you have to tell me or Tori? I got that somebody stands behind the bathroom door. There's someone, maybe a child, sitting in the corner with their knees against their chest in the left bedroom upstairs. And, oh, there's another entity. They're talking. Okay, so who exactly is here with me? So what do you have to tell me or Tori? Uh, somebody stands behind the bathroom door. There's someone, maybe a child, sitting mm -hmm. in the corner with their knees against their chest in the left bedroom upstairs. And, uh, okay, so what this, this one picked up more. Okay, okay so who exactly is here with me? And what do you have to tell me or Tori? I got that somebody stands behind the bathroom door. There's someone, maybe a child sitting in the corner with their knees against their chest in the left bedroom upstairs and oh, Hold on, I heard him say something. Please. Okay, so who exactly is here with me? So what do you have to tell me or Tori? I got that. About the woman. I think I hear about the woman. Okay. So who exactly is here with me? So what do you have to tell me or Tori? I got that. Somebody stands in the room. Mm -hmm. There's someone maybe. Have you guys seen any females in this house? Any female spirits? Have the kids seen? No. Seen? Heard? Heard. heard. Yes. What have you heard? Because I'm. There's a female here right now, freaking out. There. There was. Go ahead with anything else that you have to say and if you can for me light these up to help us see that you're here
Is there something hovering above us up in the corner? Are you afraid of the light? I hear something over there and then I heard a pop in there, but I don't know if it was the fridge. The humming's the fridge. Not the humming, I heard a pop. No, I know. That's the fridge? It, should, it might be the ice maker or the compressor, maybe. maybe. And then there's something over there. I heard like a hum or something. Okay, let's see. I'm going to play this one. Go ahead with anything else that you have to say. And if you can for me, write these up to help us that you're here. Is there something covering whisper? Go ahead with anything else that you have to say and if you can for me, write these up to help us see that you're here. Is there something hovering above us up in the corner? Are you afraid of the light? Above? Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Above us up in the corner. Are you afraid of the light? I swear it's not the demon. Okay. Hold it to your ear after I ask that question, okay? Hold that to your ear. Is it this button? Yeah, just hit that button. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I think it's the demon. Because I saw something black up there when we were in session. Now let's see what this says. Go ahead with anything else that you have to say. And if you can for me, light these up to help us see that you're here. Is there something covering the burger up in the corner? Are you afraid of the light? They're running. The light, they're running. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so the camera was turned me. off. It said what? Me. Form. Fresh me form. Okay. And Sandy. And Sandy. Which I have also gotten mad on that app too. Okay, so, so maybe that's the woman. Maybe. Okay. You lead the way. We're going to go down stairs. This is technically a basement. This is where we captured voices on recorders while they were sleeping. Feels different down here. Feels really different. Heavy? Yes. What's back here? That's the closet. That's, oh, that's what the shutters look like. Remember when I described them to you? Where's the light? Where's okay. the light? Oh, my God. That's what I said they look like. Okay, Google. Master bedroom lights on. That's exactly what I saw when I mm. talked to you. When was it? It was last year? Yeah. That's what I saw. Hold that's on. The Sit on the bed. I can't believe that. All right. And that's the bathroom where we saw the, when I told you I saw something white walking past. You saw something white walking past the bathroom? Where we went inside when I was laying in bed. Oh, that's the bathroom. Fate. Fate. Faye, please. Faye, and then what? Please. 
basement. Basement. That's where we yeah. are. What? Near. You're near the basement? Light it up. Oh, it's lighting up right here. It's lighting up. Let's do that again. Okay, it's not. Oh, oh, now it's lighting up. Lighting up, lighting up, lighting up. We're lighting up. We're lighting up big time. It's on yellow. It's not going off of yellow. It could be the stuff in here. Let me back away. Let me back away. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, it's still going. Okay, let's back, go back forward. It could be all of the electronics in here. Oh, I forgot my flashlight. You got a light down here? Yeah. Okay. 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 Put these in my pocket. I knew they didn't want us to come down here. I knew that this was the place. And it's making me wonder why Bob... Chloride. It got chloride? They'll tell you different things. Pay attention to it. Glove. Glove? Oh. Can you see? Yeah, I'm just trying to keep the camera on this. Oh, yeah, it's really lighting up. Oh. I feel like there's multiples down here. Alright. Now. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot down here. Oh no, this stuff doesn't phase me at all. I can feel something down here. Jerry, yeah, where are you? Does this go around? Yeah, like I said, I've always felt mostly back here. It's, okay, obviously it's going to be cooler. Oh, we left the dang temperature thing up there, didn't we? That's weird, it's not lighting up anymore. It's really clean down here. Okay, we're going to sit right here and talk to them. I feel like there's something inside of these walls. What would it be? When was the house built? The 70s. What is that? Ooh. Is it a stain? What is that? Justice happened. Hell. Hell? Did it say hell? Yep. They always say that when there's a demon nearby. Who's down here with us? Angels, protectors, guardians, guides. What can you tell me is down here? You hear that? Quiet. I hear like something crawling around or something. It's eerie. And it's more this corner, like this side, than yeah. over there. Yeah, I know. I can feel it, too. Have you ever had a pipe bust over there? Yeah. Did you hear that? Make yourself known, please. Hear that to my left? There's the kill. Can you tap or knock on something to confirm your presence?
church. I was just praying. Oh, hey, kitty. <laughs> I'll have to get the kitty out of here. Let's see. Because I can hear something. It's down here with us. Okay, let's be completely silent. I'm not going to say anything, and you say whatever it is that you have to say. Trying to grab his collar. I'm not going to say anything, and you say whatever it is that you have to say. Okay, there's a man in here talking. I'm not going to say anything, and you say whatever it is that you have to say. Something, there's a male entity down here. You can hear him. Turn the light off. We're going to turn the light off for you. Are you afraid of God? Are you afraid of the light that's around Tori and I? Light it up if you're the one that's in the girl's room. This is very odd. If you want me to leave, light it all the way up to red. Someone's not talking. Someone's hiding. I hear, like, there's some, there's, like, spirits talking, but something's hiding. <coughs> okay, turn the light on. <clears throat> Are you afraid of God?
Are you afraid of the light mm -hmm. that's around Tori and I? Light it up if you're the one that's in the girl's room. If you want me to leave, light it all the way up to red. Are you afraid of God? Are you afraid of the light that's around Tori and I? If you're the one that's in the girl's room. If you want me to leave, light it all the way up to red. Okay, it's screaming. There's something down here. I need to get one to make it do it. Where are you? I feel like it keeps backing up. Because it said, no, I'm not afraid of God, which is odd. Most spirits say they are. And that's why they ask for us to pray for them and tell them it's okay, it's a peaceful place to go with the angels. There's something not good here. Okay, we can go. We can go back up now. I, I can tell you don't want to be down here either. <laughs> <sighs> Oh Hi. shit, are I'm you good. okay? I'm good! <laughs> Mittens. Oh dear, you wanna come on? Yeah, mitts. Yes, it oh, did. <laughs> it's, it's it's really upsetting me. <laughs> no, we're she gonna... has her camera on her and we're recording. Every time she puts it up there while we're doing everything, when I look away, it turned something's turning off. Yep, and that's why I kept checking it earlier when y'all were talking. All right, I'm gonna make sure this time it doesn't go off. Oh, um, Tori will tell you what at Statesville, there's something that really doesn't like me. Oh, I sent her the I sent her the recording. All right, All right let's see if something happens because something's been hiding, it's running from us. Yeah, but even this said basement when we went down there, and I was like, I knew, I know you're in there. Basement near, mm -hmm, near basement, something like that. It told her to get out. Mm hmm. Oh, I've got it on hold. There. Okay, now that Bob is here, now do you want to say something? Do you have something to say to him or all of us? Can you tell me if something is attached to Bob? Is the lady attached to him? Is her name Sandy? What does the lady have to say to Bob?
Yes, I saw those lighting up. Did I think you also got an answer? I also saw something in flash white in the corner. You did? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw something flash. Okay. Maybe she's here. Well, I wonder if it was the same time that we saw. I heard, I heard that go off, and then all of a sudden I'm sitting here and I saw a blink. Okay. Let's see what they said. All right. Okay. Now that Bob is here, now do you want to say something? Do you have something to say to him or all of us? Can you tell me if something was attached to Bob? Is the lady attached to him? Is her name Sandy? What does the lady have to say to Bob? Okay, now that Bob is here, you know, do you want to say something? Do you have something to say to him or all of us? Can you tell me if something is attached to Bob? Is the lady attached to him? Is her name Sandy? What does the lady have to say to Bob? Alright, we'll do one more. Go ahead with anything that you have to say. Speak precise, be specific, and be clear. Let's hope well, yeah. we got something there. I think it did. Go on. Go ahead with anything that you have to say. Speak precise, be specific, and be clear. Yeah, it's at the end of the sentence. There's something. It's, it's something, it's something blood. blood. What comes out while everybody's sleeping? What roams and strolls through the house? The thing that I saw. And wakes Tori up at the witching hour. Can you say it on here for me? Yeah. Leader. Those. It's always tied to Xbox. Oh, I remember the Xbox okay. stuff. That's right. Hold Forgot on. about that. Hold on. So, yesterday, yes. I was on Apex. And literally, middle of a gunfight, I feel somebody either grab or poke my shoulder. Wow. Okay. In the kitchen. I can't see it. Most in the head. Most in the head? Yeah. Okay. That could be. Oh, yeah. There's some in there. Look at the top. Right there. That's what I said. But that's, that's also. That's, yeah. 
my desk is the black desk that's downstairs. Yeah. So. Is that where you play? That's where I play. Yeah. Okay. My the white monitor is my is my gaming. So anytime I've told you that it's turned on, oh yeah, it's right there by the bed, in the basement. Well, part of the basement. Which are, which the funny part is, it's directly in the line with the crawl space. Mm-hmm. But no, like literally, I felt oh, something God. either grab my shoulder or poke my shoulder. He was touched. Who touched me? He asked me. I was like, I didn't touch you. Yeah, and then he's like, he asked the girls as they're walking around, and they're like, we didn't touch you. We were yeah. just walking through to look at our lizards. Okay. Try to grab my attention, you know. Obviously, there's something here. <laughs> I think something's attached to you, Mom. Are you sure? I said that to her after you left, too. Iron is a demonic repellent. They actually used to use like iron chains and stuff. Iron sulfur. Exorcisms. Yeah. It said you, iron. It said sulfur? No. It's iron. It said oh. iron. We've captured so many EVPs. I need to go over them. I think I'm going to call it a night. I've got hours of footage here that I need to go over already. Here are some of the ghost lights that I captured during the sessions at the exact same time that recorders were picking up voice. A lot of people think that this is ectoplasm. I believe that these lights and orbs are the spirit's energy itself rather than ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is something that manifests from the orifices of the body during a seance. Also, it is also said that ectoplasm enters into the orifices of the psychic, the host in the seance, and that is how they receive the information that they do about the other side. There's a lot more evidence that's being archived that you have not seen yet. Tori and Bob's home has been diagnosed with a haunting. And the type of haunting is a demonic haunting. The investigation is still ongoing and they are still having experiences. I plan to stay in the home by myself. There's still a lot more to come and this is only the beginning. Stay tuned for a chronicled overnight investigation with Amelia Bussey at the property and she will be completely isolated in the home. There will be a dozen cameras running. Amelia is considering streaming the overnight investigation live. So stay tuned for the second documentary.